Hello there, Libra and Libra rising friends, sounded from For Your Chi. This is your June 2024 Tarot and Oracle card reading first six houses out of a 12 house spread. Uh, this is the Wheel of Life spread, as we do here on YouTube. The rest of the, re the remainder of the reading will be in the link below. It's on Patreon. Tier 2 is what you want for that. I will also put my booking link for those that you want to book a session with me. Okay. Well, Libra, as we enter June, how are you feeling? You're feeling a little low energy, unfortunately. Now, perhaps it's because you haven't been sleeping well. Uh, that is a problem for the Libras, and um, you're really feeling it during the day, Libra. So if you can take care of that, if you can go to bed early or do anything that you can to try to get some more rest. they Now, some of you are already in nature because the weather is so lovely outside. Uh, but for those of you that are not out and about outside, they are encouraging you to get out because that is what's going to uh, maintain more energy at the beginning of June. Your second house, your money, your stuff. Check this out an agreement or a contract. Some of you could be hiring a new broker of some sort. Others of you, this could be a brand new job offer or opportunity. Um, could be an investment, but usually it's a contract for a job. Uh, or, like I said, you could be signing a contract with the broker where you're going to get some money at the end of this deal. Good for you. What is the advice card? They want you to listen to music that keeps your energy upbeat and happy. Okay, well, I'll take that any day, right? Excellent news. Your third house, your brother or your sister, anyone you would consider a sibling light. This card says prosperity and bliss are assured uh, with regard to your brother or sister, and especially if they are listening to their own divine guidance and intuition. You may have a conversation with them where they are telling you something, a message that they are getting over and over and over again. It is time to listen to that guidance. All right. Your fourth house, your house of home, where you currently live. This is your place, your space, your property. This is not talking about where you live. This could be talking about someone that you live with or your father figure. Sacral chakra, heavy desire for something here, Libra. Either you want to move or you want to change something about your place. Or you want to change the occupants within it. Your father could also be feeling like he is ready for to receive something or he is ready for some sort of change in his life. Look at this, new love. What I would say about this new love, sacral chakra in your fourth house. Um, I've given this message to one other sign recently. It might have been Virgo's last month, if I remember right. Pay close attention to who knocks at your door. Uh, this could be someone that's coming to visit you. This could be you know, I hate to say this, a sales call, but not necessarily unsolicited, right? You could have hired a plumber or you could have purchased a new, hopefully not because they're expensive, appliance. And you have a delivery man that comes to your door. And for the single Libras, you're thinking to yourself, wow, that delivery man is kind of cute. You know what I'm saying? Could be one of those things. Now, if this is talking about your father, your father could have a brand new love in his life or he could be loving something that he's doing right now. Now, speaking of love, <laughs> in your fifth house, for those of you single Libras, someone has set the Libra libido on fire and in a good way. You are really, really having a great time. This could be the Libra swinging from the chandeliers, certainly. I said chandeliers, plural. You have power, okay? 
you're really feeling incredible in this fifth house. Remember, fifth house rules your dating life. It rules your fun. It rules your friends. Uh, it could rule your children, but you would have to have more than one child because one would show up in the 11th house, the other one would show up in the fifth house. Typically, it's the younger one or youngest one. Um, for those of you who are coupled, this could be an incredible time to go out on the town, say yes to, regardless if you're coupled or single, I would say yes to all social invitations right now. Uh, you're going to be loving life in the social life in limelight here. Excellent news. Your sixth house, well, this could be better. Emotional withdrawal. You are just, this is like a meditation card. Okay, you are withdrawing uh, quietly. Not necessarily from your work, but, you know, you could be taking a three-day weekend or vacation this month. If so, if that's true, good for you. Because that will help not only your psyche, but that's also going to help your... One second, let me close this window annoying okay that's going to help your um just overall general emotional stability this month now as you withdraw and hopefully meditate you are receiving divine guidance here this comes just in i'm hearing like just in the nick of time you're going to be getting information about your work or about something that you should do to obtain new work um or this could be about fixing something related to your health routine, health lifestyle, seeking some sort of medical attention, specialty, things of that nature. Uh, I would definitely write this information down and follow it. Uh, and it could be a lead, right, where the information is telling you to research a certain subject matter in order to better your life. All right, now let's, before we go into the extended, let's look and see who's around you as far as zodiac signs in your seventh house. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. Well, traditionally that's a Sagittarius, but we have all elements that are present in the Wheel of Fortune, so I cannot rule all 12 signs out. The Libras are very excited about that. They love that. However, we do have a Leo heavy fire here with the Leo and Sag. But uh, we do have another air sign, so, you know, that could be another Libra. The Libras are screaming. Uh, or a Aquarius or a Gemini. If you'd like to follow me in the extended, we're going to be going over your houses 7 through 12, including your um, primary relationships and business partnerships, your eighth house of taxes, contracts, legal matters, the source of your significant other's income, if that applies to you, your ninth house of school and travel, your 10th house of career, your mother, your 11th house of your child or your best friend, or the 12th house, what's about to happen three months from now in the month of September, which that looks pretty good. Not going to lie. Excellent. Excellent. Excellent for the Libras. Thanks for being here with me so much. Take care and I'll see you soon.